Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to sign Android APKs uh, or applications with ZipAlign and JarSigner. All right, so the structure of the Android penetration testing videos is going to be as follows. After this video, I'll be making a video on how to automatically embed payloads or create out or, or how to create backdoors in applications automatically. So we looked at how to do it manually. Uh, we looked at the proof of concept of that and we're looking at signing the applications now uh, after the automatic uh, embed video which will be coming after this will then we will take a look at obfuscation of course uh, we'll then look at persistence uh, after persistence we'll finally end the series uh, with port forwarding so that you can conduct these attacks over the internet all right so let's get started with today's video so the first question many people may be having, if this is your first time dealing with Android applications at a developer level, uh, why would we want to sign applications or why do Android applications need to be signed? Well, all Android applications must be signed digitally with a certificate. Now, this is done to ensure the authenticity of the application. So the private key is going to be held with the developer so that only he or she can release versions of the app that are verifiable via the certificate. All right. So in essence, signing an application ensures its authenticity from the developer. So no one else can, you know, simply sign an application without that particular key store and release it on the Google Play Store. That's the whole essence of signing applications or signing APKs. Now, the tools we'll be using uh, for this video or uh, the tools I'm going to be using to show you how to essentially sign your applications so that you can install them on Android devices are going to be Key Tool, Jar Signer, and ZipAlign. All right. So this takes us to the next question. What is a key store? Because we need a key store to sign these applications. Well, a key store, which is also known as the Java key store with uh, the uh, extension of JKS, is a repository of security certificates, both public and private keys that are used to digitally sign Android applications. And each key store, as I've mentioned, is unique to the developer. So a key store potentially or essentially stores your security certificates. The public key is used to sign the APK because before it is released to the Play Store. All right, so that brings us on to the next tool or the first tool we'll be using that will allow us to generate key stores, which is Key Tool. All right, so Key Tool allows you to create these key stores and comes pre-packaged with the Java JDK, which is awesome. All right, so let us get started by generating our key store. All right, so the commands, I'll, be, uh, I'll essentially show you the command you need to use to generate the key store, and then I'll, I'll explain what each of the arguments are. So let's get started. So uh, to get started, we type in key tool, and after that, we type in gen key, which will, which will prompt it to generate, uh, or it will essentially give us the option to generate our key. I will use a verbose output here, and the, the key we are generating is a key store. All right, so the, we specify that by typing in key store. And we then provide the destination uh, uh, in which or the directory in which we want to save our key store. So I will call it key.keystore. And you can also use um, you can also use the JKS extension if you want to. I simply prefer using key store so that I can keep it uh, very, very simple and I understand what I'm doing. All right. So next, you need to specify the alias. Now, the alias is very, very important for your particular key store. In my case, I'll just use my name so that I remember it very, very easily. So Alexis alias is going to be Alexis. You then have key alg. I'll explain what that is in a second. So key alg, that is your key algorithm uh, that we're going to use uh, RSA for that. We then have the key size. So the key size can vary from 1024, 4, uh, 2048 to 4096. In our case, we'll just go for the standard 2048. Uh, and then the validity. I'll explain what this is in a second. So validity. Uh, so the validity is going to be, I'll set mine to 1000. All right. And I will hit enter. Uh, and let me explain before we actually hit enter what I've done here. So we're specifying key tool as the main, as the main tool we're using. We are saying generate the key. We are verbosing the output so we know what's going on. Uh, we are saying we want to generate a key store. We have specified the destination to store it in and the name of the file or the name of the key store. We have provided it with an alias. We have also specified the key algorithm to use or the algorithm that will be used for the key, which is RSA. The key size in bits, so that's 2048, and the validity of the key store, which is a thousand days, uh, which means the application will will, will be valid. Uh, or this key store will be valid for that long uh, and the, the duration is in days. 
All right, so the key size is in bits, the validity is in days, and the key algorithm is the algorithm that will be used to generate the key pair, and the alias is the key pair alias name. Very, very important stuff there. So I'm going to hit enter. It's going to ask me to specify the key store password. Make sure you select a, a safe password. I'm just going to specify one here. We hit enter. It's going to ask me for my first and last name. Since I'm not going to be using this for assigning an application that will go to the Google Play Store, I'll just hit test, 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 and TS, uh, two letter country. Uh, yeah, we'll just use TS again. And I'm just going to hit yes to generate the key store. And there we are. It's going to store it on your root uh, desktop and key store or whatever directory you would specify. All right, so we have generated our key store, so we can now use this key store to sign uh, our applications. So to do that, we use jar signer. All right, so let me just clear my terminal. So we will be using jar signer to sign the application with our key store. So the application we'll be signing is the one that I've been using for this video series, uh, the one that we actually embedded a payload in, which is the uh, Google Now launcher, which we have right here, and it is still in uh, its original directory right over here, unchanged. All right, so we, uh, the uh, the options for jar, for jar signer are very, very simple. So we specify jar signer. So jar signer, and we specify verbose, verbose output, and then we move into the signature algorithm. So signature algorithm is denoted by sig alg, and then the signature algorithm is going to be SHA-1 with RSA. Okay, uh, sorry about that. We're using SHA-1 with RSA. And then we need to specify our digest algorithm. So digest uh, algorithm, and that is going to be equal to SHA-1. To, to, to SHA sorry, I keep on typing that wrongly, SHA-1. And then we specify the key store. So the key store is right over here, and that's going to be stored in our desktop. Uh, and we're looking for key, uh, key dot key store. Uh, I believe I stored it there, um, if I'm correct. Uh, I think I did store it on my desktop. Let me just check one more time. Yeah, there we are, key dot key store. And there it is. All right, so key dot key store. I now need to specify um, the Android application that we want to sign, which is in this directory. So the other thing I need to do is I need to copy the name of the of the file. So it is in original, uh, it's in dist, and I'll just rename here. And I will copy the entire name. I would have done it in another terminal, but I just want to show you, uh, you that you need to specify these options accurately. And then we specify the alias, which is Alexis or whatever alias you set for your particular key store. I'm going to hit enter. It's going to ask me for the passphrase for the key store. So enter that right now and hit enter. All right. After you've done that, it's going to tell you here that the jar was signed and the signer certificate is self-signed. Don't worry about that. That's perfectly no normal. And the application should be signed. Now, the important thing to, to take into consideration is we now need to perform zip aligning. Now, for those of you who are Android developers, you already know what this is and what uh, it, why it is important. So for those of you who don't know, let me explain what's going on here. So we have signed the application. We now need to perform zip alignment. All right. So zip align is essentially, is essentially an optimization process that is performed on an application that allows it to run more efficiently after signing. All right. So it's usually done when you want to release your application to the public or the Google Play Store after the signing process. All right. So zip align will restructure the resources in an APK along uh, four byte boundaries. All right, so this alignment allows Android to quickly load the resources from the APK, increasing the performance of the application and potentially reducing memory use. So this is usually done as an optimization for Android applications to make them run as efficiently as possible. All right, so let us get started with zip aligning and how to zip align our particular application. So we type in zip align and it's very, very simple. So zip align, we verbose the output and we specify four, I'll explain what four is, and we then specify the application we want to zip align, and then we specify the output file with its name. So I'm just gonna say signed.apk, and I'll just hit enter, and I'll explain what is, uh, what's what's taken uh, place here. So what you'll see is the verification, uh, it'll essentially verify the alignment of the signed APK. So then you, you'll see it will then compress all the other options right over here in the application, as I mentioned. And this is testament to what I said earlier. It essentially makes sure that the application runs efficiently as possible. All right, so if I list the files here, you will see we have our signed APK and we are essentially done. We have been able to sign our APK and you can do this to all the payloads or all the applications that have backdoors because signing is very, very important. So uh, if I type in here zip align, 
you can see that when once I've typed in zip align, the option 4 is specified here, and that essentially provides 32 bit alignment, which is very, very important. You can also specify uh, an additional alignment that will make sure it compresses it even further, but I don't recommend going above 4. All right, so that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section on my social networks or on the forum at hackersplay.org, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.